So, in addition to my series of Philips Hue devices, I have the Philips Hue dimmer switch. That's what they call it. So if you'd like to see other videos on uh, Alexa Hue lights and connections and how to connect and whether you need bridges etc please look at my description below I'll put a few links links above and um, let's get on with this so what does this do this allows you to control your lights like a regular remote control or to fit it to a wall so you can have it like a, a wall switch to, to turn on and off your lights. Um, I've already paired this, I'll go through uh, what you need to do. Um, but I was having a bit of trouble so I'll, I'll talk you through what needs to be done. All right. First of all, on the back of it, using a paper clip, there is a reset button in case you need to reset the device um, back again. Um, I would show you from resetting it, um, but I had a problems with my hue light switches when I tried to reset to do a video. So I thought I, I wouldn't um, reset it, but I'll talk, talk you through what needs to be done. If you're using a, um, a Philips Hue without a bridge, like I do, um, there's another video, I'll put a link sort of up here or in the description um, to a video that shows you what you need to be able to use Philips Hue with an Alexa uh, without a bridge. Um, you can't use all bridges, uh, all, all Alexas, so that's in, in that video. Um, and I'll also show you how to connect your light strips, which I'll put in another video. Um, so I'll put the link for the light strips connection up here. Right, getting back to this light switch, Right, so getting back to the light switch, uh, I'm using an iOS device, uh, an Apple iPhone. Um, you would go to plus to add a device. Add a device, then you tap on a Philips Hue. Then you discover devices, and this will go through and find a device. Now I've already connected it, so it won't just um, won't discover that. So I'll skip through this bit and we'll get to the next bit. So once it's connected, it comes up as first device. So I've got first device here. Um, yours might obviously have a different name, uh, especially if you've um, already got a device with that name. So I'm just going to go in and change the name to switch. Now it shows here it's connected via my kitchen uh, and it's a Philips Smart device, type other, and it is enabled. So it has a different um, has a different icon uh, from some of your other Philips devices like the switches and plugs. So that's you connected on the phone. Once you've connected it on the phone, you take your device, you Turn off your plugs for your strip light, turn them back on so they're in pairing mode. You press and hold the one or the like the on button and you press and hold that and your lights will flash. Then you go to a, an additional light and you, um, if you want to group more than one light in the same room, you press and hold that and that light will flash. Um, you go around all the lights that you want to turn on and off in that room or um, Possibly not if they're in that room as well. So maybe you want to turn off the hole downstairs. I suppose you could probably use it for that. Um, and you pair those and then all those lights will be synced to um, this switch. So once that's done, I'll just um, I'll just go and put it onto the lights so you can see. Both my lights are done together.
So now I've got this switch connected to the lights. I can cycle through the different colors of the Philips Hue light uh, in the white spectrum. Um, I wonder if it does colors. Alexa, turn dining room red. Okay. So I'll just see if it no, just automatically defaults back to the the versions of of the white lights. So you can sync both the lights. Um, I'm not sure that's showing up too well on the camera because I think it's changing the automatic white balance while I'm videoing it. Um, you can cycle through the colours using the one button. Also, you can dim the lights again. I don't know if it's showing too much the white balance but um, you can dim the lights you can bring them back up again and obviously the zero turns them off and the one turns them back on so that's the Philips shoe light strip a uh, good addition um, to have in your house if you're running Philips shoe lights um, so if you like this sort of video, I tend to do technology and also automotive uh, videos uh, to do with fixing cars and fixing problems with uh, electrical devices and reviewing and testing devices. So if, if these are the sorts of videos you're liking, please like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up and um, I hope to be posting some more videos soon. Cheers. Thank you.